As the fifth year anniversary is right around the corner, we're getting more and more information every single day leading up to the big reveal. Kings and Queens, welcome back to the kingdom. Today, we are going to be talking about everything that we received in the week. I said we would be making more videos like this, talking about all the news and information that we have throughout the week to catch you guys up to speed with everything. And today, we have a lot of important things to talk about. Don't forget, we are currently live on Twitch. We'll be live today and every single day leading up to the anniversary unless otherwise posted. So let's jump on into it. The first thing that we have to talk about is the Dead by Daylight broadcast itself that is going to be coming out on the 25th. And they basically are giving us the rundown of the show. Now, this is going to lead us to actually figure out what's going to be spoken about and what we can kind of expect and look forward to in this live stream so it starts by saying the five years of dead by daylight so i'm assuming this is going to be a rundown of everything that has happened during the five years of dbd possibly showing clips of previous years and everything leading up showing everything that got them to this point which they've done in the four year anniversary stream and streams before that the next is obviously the resident evil chapter reveal so we'll learn what the killer is what the survivors are maybe even their perks and maybe we'll even get a ptb announcement and it could likely be on that day or in the following week we'll have to wait and see next is the year six roadmap which is possibly the biggest thing in my opinion because obviously with the new chapter it's huge but i'm way more interested in the longevity of what's going to happen years prior we were introduced to the rift and the archive which was huge we were also talking about cross play and cross progression and they were huge milestones that dbd accomplished and brought into the game as well as all of the realm reworks and so on and so forth so i'm happy that we're going to get another roadmap so we can know what they're planning on doing this year and hopefully we get some big announcements from that Next on the list is the Realm Beyond update. This typically is when they show us all of the maps that have been reworked. Now, I've been speculating for a long time that instead of doing the standard two maps that we typically get, we are going to get three maps as there's only three maps left as well as a new map. So I think they're going to go all the way forward, pushing all their time and effort into this and making it nice and special for us. So that means we're going to see the Swamp getting a rework, Lampkin Lane and Mother's Dwelling and I'm pretty excited for that. So everything could possibly get updated and that's what I'm predicting. And the final two things are live design and fifth year anniversary celebrations. Not too sure what both of those are. They might be looking more into the live gameplay of things and what's currently going on, what they're working on currently. And fifth year celebrations obviously would just be celebrations and whatever they have entailed for that. So pretty exciting stuff. And that's what we can expect in the live stream so I'm pretty pumped up about that. Next on the list, we have some stats. I love stats. I always talk about stats throughout my streams, throughout my videos. You guys know me. And these were decisive strike changes stats were before and after. Before when it was used and how many times people escaped when they had this on their loadout and after how much it was used and how many people use it on their loadouts. Now, the statistics are pretty simple. Before it was on 27% of all builds. So this means you're more than likely to see it in your game if you're playing statistically wise and the escape rate for the players that used it was 49 percent afterwards the usage dipped down to 16 percent so it wasn't as used as often with the escape rate still being at 49 percent so an interesting statistic to stay the least now, this is an interesting stat, of course, so I'm pretty interested to see if they'll give us some more information about different things and different perks. There's a whole discussion that can be had about this alone, which we'll save for a later time. But long story short, the discussion is about tunneling, how decisive strike works, and there's actually a really good video on it right now that Dylan has made. I recommend that you take a look at it. I'll leave it linked down in the description and we can have our own discussion moving on forward. We have some new renders for Nancy and Jonathan. Obviously, we spoke about Jonathan Byers coming into the game as a legendary skin for Steve Harrington. And we finally actually see a proper image of what this is going to look like. So pretty happy to see this. We actually could see that Jonathan kind of does look like Jonathan. And I said in the video, we had to wait until he actually comes into the game to see what he truly looks like because some of the images weren't doing him enough justice but until then we will see today was also the release of the waterfront massacre collection 
It looks pretty damn cool. We spoke about this before where we said that David, Dwight, and Nia are going to be featured on this and getting their skin. So you guys can take a look at that collection right now in Dead by Daylight. And the final two things that I'm sure you guys already know is that a hot patch was released for 4.7.2, which basically had a bunch of bug fixes in it. And the new level of the tomes have been opened up. So you guys can take a look at that now. But my friends, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. Summed everything up that pretty much has been going on this week. We'll be back tomorrow talking about some more stuff and maybe even giving our final doses of Resident Evil and our thoughts and opinions leading up to the fifth year anniversary. Remember, we are live on Twitch, so please come on out, say hello, hang out with us, and have a good time. And as always, I'm the King. I did my crown to you guys, and we'll see you in the fog.